This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this simple logo design where it depicts a couple of letters interlocking with each other using Procreate. So let me go back to my gallery over here, and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new canvas, and I'm going to use the screen size. And I want to open up the Layers menu and turn off the visibility of the background layer right there, because we don't want the background in the way for what we're about to do. So what I want to do is choose a color that I'd like the text to be. For this example, I'm going to be using the color white. So let's open up the color picker up here. I'm just going to go all the way to the top left right here so that we have white. By default, you should have this disk picker. I don't like that. I like the classic one better. So I'm just going to go with that right there. Close out of that. And now I want to add some text onto the canvas here. So let's come over here to the wrench icon in the top left corner and select add. And I'm looking for add text. And for this demonstration, I'll be using the letters S and E because I like how those letters interact with each other. Obviously, you can use whatever letters you'd like. Let me just type in the first letter here, which is the letter S. And let me double tap this to select it. And I want to change the font over here. I'm going to choose for this, for this design, I'm going to choose Avenir for the font. And I want to use the light variation, Avenir light. And I want to make this a little bigger. Right about there is pretty good. Now we can tap Done. Let me grab the select tool and just move this over to the left. I'm going to come back up here to the layers menu and I want to create a duplicate of this layer. So let me slide this to the left and let me tap duplicate right there. Now let's grab the select tool, move this duplicate copy. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Move this duplicate copy over here. If you, if you make a mistake like I just did, just double tap and it'll undo it for you. Now I want to get back to the text editor so I can change this from an S to an E. So let's open the layer again, open the layers menu, and then close it. And then that will put us back to the text editor here. And now we can double tap this to select it and then change it to a letter like that. Now I'm going to grab the select tool. I'm going to position this over the area where I'd like it to interlock with the letter S there. Right about there is looking pretty good. And now I want to rasterize these layers. So let's come back to the layers menu. Let me tap on this layer right here to get this little pop out menu and I want to choose rasterize. And I'm going to do the same thing to this letter down here. Tap on it again and then choose rasterize. And then we'll select the letter on top here. Select that top layer, close out of that. Now let's zoom in on this. I'm going to pinch to expand and zoom in. I want to erase the part of the letter E here underneath the curve of the S to make it look like it's overlapping. And so let me grab the eraser. Make sure you have your eraser opacity all the way up and make sure you have a suitable size here. I'm going to go with the size maybe like that. And I'm just going to remove, erase out this part of the letter here. So it looks like it's uh, overlapping the letter or maybe even casting a shadow of it over it in a certain way. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Let me just erase that out. And then I'll do the same thing over here to the letter. Let me just erase this a little more. There we go. If you want, you could take your time and be a little more precise than me. I'm just doing this quick to get this video, uh, get this video done without taking up too much of your time. Let me select the letter S here. Close out of that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to erase the letter S right here. There we go. Just like that. And that's what we're looking for right there. Okay, so it kind of looks like these two letters are overlapping and underlapping and intertwining with each other. Okay, so now let's combine these layers together. So we'll go back to the layers menu. Let me tap this first layer to select it. Tap on it again to get this menu. And I'm going to choose, I'm um, looking for merge down. Tap right there, merge down. And now it's going to be one layer. So let's close out of this. Let's zoom out a little bit so that we can see the page boundary. You may not be able to see it on my screen, but if I'm looking at my screen here, I can see the faint black border of the screen here. I want to center this up on the canvas here. So I'm going to grab the select tool. I want to make sure I have snapping enabled down here. And I want to just move this over until it snaps to the center of the page. The yellow guides will let you know on the vertical and horizontal axis. And that right there is what we're looking for. Let me zoom out a little more. And now I'm going to create a little emblem for this to be inside of, or in other words, it would be a circle. So let's come back up here to the Layers menu. Let's activate Layer 1. There should be nothing on it. Close that. And let's come up here to the Selection tool. And over here, I want to choose Ellipse. You have all of these different options over here. I want to choose Ellipse. Make sure you have Add enabled. And I just want to come over here to the top left corner of the canvas and then just click and drag to create an ellipse like that. And then I want to hold a tap on the canvas to lock the proportions to make it a perfectly round circle like that. And we have that selection now. 
Now I want to fill that selection with the color black. So let's come back up here to the color picker, change this to black, close out of that, and then tap and drag on the color. Tap and drag it into the circle like that. Okay, now we can grab the select tool. We can just make sure we have this centered up on the canvas as well. And now I want to create a white border going around this. So let me repeat that last step after creating. Let me undo the selection. Let me come over here to the layers. Let's add a new layer in here. I'm going to tap this plus icon. And I want to move this beneath layer one. So let me hold a tap over that so it lets me move it. And then I'll move it below layer one like that. And now I want to change my color to white because I want the border to be white. Close out of that. Come over here to the selection tool once again, and we're going to create another circle like this. I'm going to hold a tap so it locks the proportions like that, and I'm going to fill that with white. Grab the select tool, move this over towards the center of the page. And if you notice here, the border is pretty big, so I'm actually going to scale that down a little bit. I'm going to take this little, this little node right here in the bottom right, and then right here on the top left like that. Scale that down to a suitable size. I want the thickness of this border to be consistent with the thickness of the letters, or close enough anyway. So let me take that and move that over now, make sure it's centered. Make sure it snaps in there. There we go. And now I want to create another black border going around the back of this. So let me come back up here to the Layers menu. Let me take this layer right here, layer one, slide this to the left, and then tap Duplicate. And I'm going to take this duplicate copy, hold a tap, move this to the very bottom, just above the background layer, close out of that, grab the Select tool, and then just scale this up a little bit. Something like that right there. And then we're going to center this, we're going to center this up on the page as well. And right there, as you can see, it's looking like our logo is almost done. So let me just let me just reposition this. There we go. That's looking good. So now what we want to do is we want to change the size of the canvas to match this shape here. One more thing I want to address first. If you notice here, if you zoom in, oops, let me undo that. If you zoom in, you'll notice there's some fragmentation here, the little white line. If you want, you can come back up here to the white layer, grab the eraser, and then just erase that out real quick to get rid of that. That's just a little uh, little error that you get when you work with selection sometimes. So let me just go and erase this out real quick. Okay, now once you're done doing that, I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the entire canvas. I want to come up here to the wrench icon. I want to tap on canvas, and I want to choose crop and resize. And I'm just going to bring the canvas in like this so that it fits the logo a little better. I'll leave a little bit of padding around the edges there just to be safe. And I'll tap done. Okay, now if you zoom out, you can see our logo is pretty much done. If you want, you can open the Layers menu and turn on the visibility of the background layer to see the full effect here. Now, if you're going to use this as an actual logo, you're going to want to turn the background layer off and then export it as a .png image so that you can use it with a transparent background. Okay, so to do that, you can come up here to the wrench icon again, come over here to Share, and you're going to want to choose PNG towards the bottom of that list there. And then from there, you will have yourself a nice little simple logo that you have created in Procreate. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.